Okay, let's have a motion to reconvene. I move to reconvene. Councilor Barnes, all in favor? Okay. Uh, other business. Uh, I want to do this other business as requested in the uh, in the brackets, please. Uh, so farm safety, they're looking for a request for donation. If you remember, I think we donated two hundred dollars last year. Was it two or three? Yeah. We've done it every year, haven't we? Yeah. yeah. Much. Personally, I think we yeah. have always supported education for children, and that come to the junior, the, to the elementary school yeah. once a year, and so I'm prepared to. Uh, go, 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 ahead. go for make a recommendation that uh, we give farm safety center a donation uh, equal to what we did last year. So Jill's uh, just messaging me. It was two hundred dollars. Two hundred. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Two hundred dollars. Okay. You got a uh, motion for two hundred dollars. Yes. Resolution. All in favor. Carry. Okay. I have a okay. question. Yes. yes. We can. Do we ever get a report from them? What's going on? We've had the odd report. They're the backgrounder, they sent us a yes. ton of stuff this okay. year. Yes, they have. They have really showed you all the schools that they have touched, and mm -hmm. they are a lot. Council, we can't do motions in the CCW. It's a recommendation. It's a recommendation, it's a recommendation yes. that they made. Okay, uh, thank you, Council Court. Uh, item B, please, Council, let's discuss the position only. I don't want names, I don't want figures, nothing like that. I just want to know, uh, Jeff is, is in, in our uh, packet, and your, in your notes he's, he's uh, done a, a, what it entailed with a, with a coordinator's, uh, he feels a coordinator would be responsible for, and I'd only like to discuss this paper and uh, and then I'll ask Jeff to just sort of go over this this chart that you've done, Jeff. So but uh, yes. Looks good. Let's move on. I agree I'm with you. Agree. So no. here's my quick tell me if you can answer just yes to this quick. Because here's a public piece I wanted to discuss. I tried to capture in that black box down below what are some of those things that aren't being addressed that you wanted this position for. But to make it a fulsome position I combined it with some other stuff. So it was this kind of full-time, minimal impact on budget, did I capture the gaps in the black box? That's the question. Because if so, I want to talk about some more details of this, but in the closed session. Yep. Okay. Yep. I, I feel okay. very comfortable Me with too. the proposal. Okay. okay. So then let's Great. move forward. Thank Good. you, Jeff. Thank you. And thank you, Councilor. So, <clears throat> Fire Authority, there, uh, there's a letter there from yep. uh, Danny Melvin. Can I take two minutes to address it? Yes. I, okay, I we met Thursday that. night. Um, uh, basically what it's all about is that he has the opportunity to purchase a third ambulance, but it's not really an ambulance. <laughs> it, cannot re it cannot transport, but what it would do is allow us, there, there's many times when we have blackouts here, we have a code red, there's nobody wrong. They would respond to the emergency until another ambulance could get there. So you're basically going to have a, an EMT or whoever's going to be there. I don't know if I should say this in public, but under the table they did say if it was a real emergency, they would they would throw that person to that ambulance and take them to the hospital. They're not just going to sit there and wait. So okay. we technically, but they cannot transport. But it would give us a third ambulance in town to respond to emergencies when the other ambulances and other emergency response people are not available. Okay, my question about that, <coughs> Councilor Cordy, is liability issues. If they decide that it, they need to transport, in a decommissioned ambulance. Well, let's not say that we're going to transport because they're not going to according to policy. Well, can can I ask another question? Yeah, but if they do, and that that ambulance, and they have a they're not ambulance. going to. Okay. Unless okay. okay. somebody's dying. Period. <laughs> yeah. Period. Yes. Go ahead. Mayor. Okay. When I read that, I found it uh, rather interesting because yes, often we do not have ambulances are available mm -hmm. uh, in town when we have an emergency, it, it has happened. But I'm wondering, there is very often one or two ambulances that are parked now in Moses Lake, um, Mo Mo uh, at, the in, at the 
flats. Oh, the mall area there? Yeah. The flats. Mocha and that's, flats. That's, that's. And I'm wondering if there were a real emergency or an emergency, can one of those ambulances come and help us? Do we have an agreement between the town and the blood trial in order to access them? Because we sent our ambulance in the past. Yeah. Council said, the you know, reserve, I don't believe there is an agreement. This is kind of outside of our school. Either. Yeah. But do you see what I'm trying yes. to say? Right. We are able to send all ambulances on the reserve but is that not something that we, we do not deal with ambulances per se only fire the reason they said this ambulance might be available is because there's always somebody at the fire hall and usually an EMT I know it would just be a backup uh, we have since uh, I think we can say this uh, we have since the blood tribe has, has uh, out have left has left our agreement as far as yeah. fire goes yeah, we do I not respond that. to fires on reserve anymore unless I requested by them yeah. so what you're telling me this is basically an equipment carrier basically it's for that time when there's nobody around and they need somebody at somebody's house with an EMT if there's some kind of training. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, so are they mean? looking for a financial? They're, they're looking, looking for a letter of support for the town. Letter of yeah. support. Yeah. yeah. But with later on financial support? That's, no, because I don't think <coughs> they. Did we get from Alberta Health? I don't believe they charge for these. I'm trying to think back yeah. on that. Do you remember? No. We would probably have to to um, get to outfit it. Outfit it. <coughs> but it would fall within the budget of CCPS. Mm -hmm. Chairman Bangry. Yes. I wanted to make a comment. Yeah. Go ahead. When they don't have ambulances here, they certainly make sure that the person gets transported somehow. Because I was commandeered. Yes. My man. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I, would I dare say no? Again, you're, to a you're, doctor who's right there on the scene. As a citizen, you wouldn't. No. But again, and liability issues are out there. I, well, but fortunately, I take we, chance, we, we are in situations here where, and here's the weakness of the system, and it needs to be changed. We will transport somebody for an M MRI or a CT scan, and our ambulance sits there for three hours while they're doing whatever they do in Lethbridge. Yeah. yeah. Meanwhile, we don't have an ambulance here. Yeah. And so we have, might have to wait till Fort McLeod or McGrath or whoever sends one. But. They shouldn't be using the ambulance to take somebody in for an MRI. But That's they what they have medical transport for, separate from the ambulance. Because they took me in for one yeah. on the, that council <coughs> years ago. So I let them sort of a lot of discussion about items that are deal to be dealt with by AHS. Yes, yeah, that's that we send a letter. We Thank you. Direct yeah. administration to send a letter of support. Yeah whomever to get this ambulance. Was it 2012 where we were taken off the ambulance and just called it as a right. spider? 2012, yeah. yeah. So we've got a recommendation all the triggers. Carried. Okay, uh, our AUMA president, and uh, request for a support, letter of support. Jeff, you want to look at So AUMA was not pleased with the plan to redirect cannabis taxes to municipalities. Mm -hmm. So. The large municipalities are getting their piece of it, albeit they would contest it's not sufficient, but the small municipalities aren't getting any at all. So you have a municipality like ours who has a peace officer who's expected to enforce intoxication under the Act, but there's no financial support there to, to do that. So what both uh, Ms. Tanya Thorne and Barry Morishita, I put them all in together, they were essentially asking the same thing, saying, we've drafted a letter from municipalities under 5,000 Will you guys put it on your letterhead, send it to the minister? That's, that's the request from both of them, to say that we need a more equitable uh, distribution of cannabis tax revenues for the enforcement. Yeah. I'd make a resolution that we do yeah. that. A recommendation. A recommendation. A recommendation. Yeah. Sorry, okay. whatever. Mm -hmm. Thank you. All in favor? Good. Okay, business arising from delegation. Uh, our delegation was Mr. Alex Scow on the... Uh, Solar. So, is there any discussion on that? Uh, hopefully, there is. <coughs> yes. <laughs> the presentation that we had is all encompassing with all the other businesses. If we go that way, it would mean that we would have to pay something like $14,000 a month. 
seventeen thousand a month for for uh, to cover the charges, right? If we did a fifteen year financing through NMAX, we would still need to pay. Uh, no, no, no. That, that's more. what the payment per month is, but that's yeah. also largely what the reduction in electricity is. It'd be about forty thousand a year above and beyond the financing payment on a three year fifteen. Right. Sorry, so three percent have, fifteen years. So we have to add forty. Correct. So about forty thousand a year. Besides yeah. that, okay. The twenty year was about seven thousand a year. It negligible, frankly. All right. So there is fifteen years that could be still. A return on our investment we know that if we were to scale the project down is it worth looking at or not yeah this is a big project for sure if we were to scale it to half of that side is that a possibility yeah you're not so if, if the endeavor is to finance term out the financing equal to your payments and I don't mean this in the in the liability of it, but it's kind of irrelevant the size of the project. Okay. So if it's three million dollars and we only have to have another seven grand a year, it's one point five it's million dollars, and right. we're down to zero. It's only a seven thousand dollars spread from a right. cash flow perspective. The risk right. perspective is larger. Okay. So if we imagine we were in support of of that idea, we are not touching our debenture. You are. Okay, you, so that's what we need to do. You know. must pass a borrowing bylaw. It's an unconventional borrowing if you did it through a third party like an NMAX. Under but the 20-year program, it's through AFSC, or not AFSC, Alberta Finance Capital Authority, AFCA. And that requires a debenture and it goes against your limit, Act. borrowing limits. Okay. Yes. Yeah. So right now we have about a million dollars or something like that. Already had something thousand. No, yeah. Not so much left. So that would be about three million dollar that would have to be secured. 2.3 after the grant. 2.3. Yeah. So it still leaves us with about seven million dollar. Well, you're sitting at about 12 right now, I think. About, so yeah. about yeah. 10, yeah. so that still is about nine million, yeah. about nine million dollar so that can be accessed. Okay. All right. So it's not dipping in the pot that much. It's, a, it's, it's two point three million. <laughs> no, but I mean, no matter how you slice it, <laughs> it's a, it's a lot. It's a lot. But if yeah. there is a return, yeah. If there is a return at the end of the day, yeah. it's a worthwhile project, possibly. Possibly, I don't know. Are you looking at the twenty nineteen budget? We lose out on the. My my feeling is. We probably only have until spring for the grant. That's right. Before it goes. Yeah, and then, and then it really, this isn't a compelling financial argument at the best of times. It's certainly not compelling if you don't get the $900,000 in grant money. Mm -hmm. That stretches out your return by, you know, probably another eight or nine years. So I think that's the window. It would be a 2019 project, I think. But it doesn't preclude the fact that we could look, as Councillor Cole said, yeah. at other project. It's not one against the other. No. This it one has a very minimal cash flow implication. That's the thing with yes. this project. We're not saying we're building a three million dollar solar plant <laughs> we have to shell out four hundred grand a year for. No, exactly. We're saying we can do a three million dollar solar farm and shell out seventy five hundred bucks a year. Right. Now, all things being equal and correct. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so okay. just a little bit of a concern. I, I don't trust electrical companies, I'm sorry. <laughs> but we were talking about this during our break, where the promises of when they privatized all of our electrical, the prices are going to plummet because there's competition, which right. just done nothing but skyrocket. What's to say that they're not, the province here is not going to jump in on these solar panels and start of say, they're, they're making money, maybe we better jump on it too. I just, I'm just a little nervous about it. Is, is it really as good as it's going to say it's going to be, or five years down the road, are they going to come back and start taxing us on the solar panels? I, I don't know. Jeff, I, I know you really haven't got a crystal ball in front of you, <laughs> but could you prepare more information for the January meeting? Well, here, here, let me tell you what I've been thinking about this, just to, to float it by you. We've got a number of these big projects that we are juggling. They're all in kind of the, the outside looking in here. And what I'd like to have Hawken do is to, 
we have a five-year capital plan. We've shown you that already for budget, but <clears throat> I'd like to see us have kind of this five-year major projects plan that aren't in the budget, but they all require their own funding models, funding pieces. That's one way we can engage the public on it, too, is, look, the town's trying to raise money for the following, and here's the shortfalls we have in all of them. And when we talk about using grant money, we can start to look at where we allocate things. I, we haven't formalized how this would affect the budget, although, again, this one from a cash flow perspective is pretty neutral. Yeah. If it works out as, as it says, and you don't have a bunch of regulatory change 10 years down yeah. the road. Um, so we could incorporate this project into the budget relatively easily because the, the, the cash flow impacts no minimum. Mm -hmm. um, but I'd like to have a more, you know, that big 11 by 17 with all these projects and where all the money could come from and what we got to raise and what we got to do and have it all in context, right? And say if we borrow for every one of them, what happens to our... Right. Well, we need to understand we, that, right? Yeah. But we also got to get some numbers to some of these. So I couldn't guess right now within a million dollars on the golf clubhouse. I don't know. I couldn't guess within a million or two on an on indoor rec facility. You know, those things got to develop for over the next few months, too. Yes. So if our deadline for a grant for this uh, solar system is spring? May, we probably at the outside. What are we looking at for a deadline for this council for a decision? Well, you have to do a borrowing bylaw, which takes almost a couple of months. You need to do it by January. So by February, January, January, February. Yeah. Well, you need to start the it. You need to start the process right away. in December start walk, in order for it. February to come yeah, around. You got to advertise right. public hearings. You've yeah. got to have all that for any borrowing. You you can't do that without public yeah. consultation. So <laughs> when you do this with with Hawk, and you're going to try and figure out what implications will be for the taxpayer yeah. and the payback on these large projects that we're looking at? Yeah, I mean, the theory I kind of have right now is if I have everything spreadsheeted and right now all the burden is going to sit on the taxpayer, yeah. but then as we start to incorporate other financing pieces, we can watch that burden reduce until it's yes. a reasonable project. Right. So we can now say, oh, okay, you know. Is there maybe private funding out there? Yeah, the or, you know, getting volunteer donation and we, we can task the golf committee, we can task Parks and Rec to, let's get down on these numbers in the next 60 days. Like let's get an idea that a, a 45,000 square foot sprung and all this inside is going to be 3.2. At least we know. Yeah. Yeah. At least we know. And we can start to debate the merits of that. Because right now, none of us can guess within a million bucks what that looks like. So. Do, you need a, do you need a committee members from council? No, I mean, we have the committees in place. I think we're fine. The Parks and Rec should start even in the next 10 days try, trying to commence a meeting to get this indoor rec facility discussion going. So that's going to start coming together relatively quickly, which is great. Um, I think the golf committee, we have some ideas that we can start putting costs to uh, fairly soon. So well, I, I think it can come together with the existing committees just fine. Would it be too soon to ask, ask for this December CCW meeting? Or do you want to go to January? <sighs> we have to approve the budget by the end of the year. We have another, we have another stab at it at mill rate time in May. So my feeling is, frankly, it's going to develop between January and May, mm -hmm. and we bring it back to you at middle rate time. Councilor Sullivan, okay. thirty years since the time. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that too. But um, I'm a little bit like Councilor Court. I have concerns about the future and technology, and we end up with everybody's on windmills, and now windmills are like a dinosaur, and they're a big white elephant. We go into this solar thing, and it could be a big white elephant. I'm a little uncomfortable with it. Yeah. I'm just uncomfortable sure. with it. What I would suggest is that you straw a poll here. How many are comfortable and how many need to sit on this for a little while and ring it out? <coughs> just one other concern I have is <coughs> May. We're going to have a, a provincial election. What's going to happen after that? Yeah. Well, this is why the, your window of opportunity yeah, I understand is growing grand. very quickly, right? Okay, we got straw poll going. <coughs> the the assumption is, is, is that if there's a new government that they're not going to continue on it's an assumption go. that's an assumption yeah, totally because they may yeah. in fact say yeah thank you yeah. you know so uh, i don't like to make decisions based on fear yeah. and i feel that that's where we're at here that we're afraid we may lose out on this grant this grant and so uh, i have the same reservations about technology because it's changing 
we're, it, it's really changing a lot, and there are other things out there that may be better for us. I don't know. We so haven't done a lot of the research, and we need to, you know, really look at. So you want to put it on hold a little bit right now? That's my feeling. Just slow it down, yeah. Council Group? But I, I don't want to stop discussion. I think we need to get some research done within the next couple of months, and then maybe by January we can bring it back and talk a little bit more. Group. So one of the things I wanted to ask when um, Alex was presenting was, do we have to have a solar farm, or can we actually attach solar panels to a couple of other buildings that we want? Absolutely. Like yeah. a, more of a smaller project, yeah. kind of what we've done here and with the ice arena. And I think my comfort level would be better mm -hmm. suited with something like that, yeah. instead of having a huge farm, losing maybe some tax base um, land. Yeah. land and stuff like that. Yeah. I don't know. I, I think what we've done here is really good, and we might be able to do that on a few more buildings, but I just, uh, okay. that's kind of where I'm at. Mayor? I would support pursuing looking at the opportunity. and. Um, Especially in the light of what I heard from uh, at Coed Mayors and Mayor. I have the feeling that distribution and transmission is going to be addressed as an issue uh, in the future recommendations I'm going to make to, uh, to the province. And if that is the case, that the big players are working on it, as they told us, then I think there is definite benefit of pursuing the idea. No, I'm but not. I'm not sure that the scale of $3 million is what I'm comfortable with either. Yeah. Now I'm going to ask uh, the mayor and council said, South Grove is quite moving forward on all these kind of initiatives. Where are they sitting? that don't play with our crews and uh, our talent and all that's just not what they no, they're playing. not in the solar or anything like that they, they recommend i mean <coughs> they were the one who recommended uh for people who come and want to invest in uh, solar they recommend for them the towns that would be interested in that and that kind of create the initiative for those people to meet the right people. Yeah, their pushes would be, let's, here's some attractive areas where you can put up a large solar farm, but nothing to this to this scale. No, like no, I said, it, not that I think Councillor Drew hit it on the head. My comfort level isn't all that great with a uh, $3 million yeah. solar facility. I want to throw some solar that. panels up on the sewer treatment plant or out of the water treatment plant. Or well, nearby, I mean, it doesn't have to be on a structure, but near the structure. Council Brown? Agreed. That's okay, exactly Council Court? No, I'm just not quite done. Yeah. Okay. And I'm, I'm in the same position. That, okay, so what do we want she to do? She hasn't finished yet. <laughs> she wanted to say something. Go ahead. No, I was just going to say it's the $3 million that I'm uncomfortable yeah. with. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on. There's you. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we uh, need a recommendation. No, we're no. good. We're good? Yeah. Okay. I mean, the sewer plant is probably what sucks up the most yeah. energy. It's our biggest one. Yeah. If yeah. we could deal it with sense. that yeah. dinosaur for <laughs> bill, sure. it would be a nice thing to do. And yeah. maybe there's a lot of treatment plant. Okay, questions. This is open for our uh, committee reports. I don't think we had any committee reports. We have those two meetings from now. Okay. Yeah. Correspondence. Uh, we got one from uh, the Honorable Shay Anderson of Municipal two Affairs. Time. And uh, there's two there, and it's grant approval, and the project is completed. Yeah, those are always really delayed. Yep. Okay. I have a question. Way delayed. Yes. The. the um, <laughs> The operating spending plan submitted has been accepted. Yeah. What's the figure? Uh, 230 grand, I think. It's whatever we intend to spend from MSI operating, we have to submit. 
Okay. I'd have to just grab the So budget. it's money that we've got. Yeah, it's our MSI allocation. We're just asking permission to use it on that specific For that purpose, project. correct. Yeah. Okay, yep. thank you. That's all I need to know. Reallocation. Yep. Okay, Old Mound Watershed, uh, invite to a luncheon. I will be going to that meeting because the same day as Mayor's and Reeve and it's just around the corner. So Thank you, Mayor. That kind of okay, that's taken so care of. Definitely fair. Are they asking yes. for money too? We already made that we payment. Paid, we already paid. paid yeah, it's done. Yes. We paid for that all yeah. the time. Veteran Affairs Canada and notice of the initiative that they're taking. Um, Councilor Banger, I can speak to that a bit. I phoned Darren Atwood this afternoon. Yes, uh, he's a new sergeant of arms for the community at the Legion. And I said, Darren, I don't understand how we implement this request. What are your thoughts? And he says, I don't think we do. He says, I think we're doing a great thing at the high school. We're doing a program at the Legion. We're good. I said, well, they're meeting tonight, by the way, the Legion is. And I said, look, if something comes out of that where the town could help in doing this, call me. But he said, no, we're, we're pretty comfortable. The town's doing a great job with the Remembrance Day service, and we've commemorated it appropriately there. And we've only got one church with bells. And that's, that's yeah. yeah, we just don't have yeah. church bells. Yeah. Exactly. And there is another thing inside there. It says to kind of make it appropriate for the 100 year. In my little address of five minutes, I will touch on that. Okay. And I will touch on the last. <coughs> we can do that with the cenotaph as well. I mean, that's part of yes. the yes. anniversary thing. So yeah. we, we've done kind of yeah. yeah. what you think. Okay, we got a, a thank you letter from the Carson District Health Foundation. Well, we reviewed it. Thank you very much for them. I think that they'll be looking at something even larger next year with the yes. golf course, the fundraising more for the <coughs> right. Senate District Health Foundation. Okay, Mrs. Trudy Wolford Festival of Lights invitation. Okay. Uh, for us to attend and be there and uh, cheer the mayor on. Yes, uh, the mayor will be there on November the 19th, right? On yeah, correct, yeah. Right, yeah. Uh, Jeff, do you have the particulars of uh, Mrs. Uh, Wolford that you can give to me so I can contact her? Uh, yeah, no problem. Because no, there's a few things she wants me to say and I'm not so sure. I'll email you tomorrow with her info. Thank you. Okay, that does that. I need a I need a, a motion, please. Or er, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, the mayor's made it. Uh, we'll go into a closed session, please. Thank you to the mayor. Yes, and all in favor. Thank you. So.